So you sent your people to ask the market, market, what do you want? And you adapt the description of the product. You change it progressively. And you make the generation 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, and that is fundamental. Because if you don't do that, you don't satisfy the client, you disappear. And so renovation is a key of the immediate surviving. It's making that tomorrow look a little bit like yesterday, a little bit better. Never stop to do that. That is normal development. You have to be very careful about what you deliver tomorrow, but you only survive through that. What is in this case innovation? Innovation is if you can on something impossible to realize. This is interesting. How can we realize a wish when nobody can realize? So this asks you to go first in inspiration, and you have to make all the spaghetti again. And so maybe you have the generation three. But you will make 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. That is normal. But it's two different activities to make the renovation, to make the innovation. Another kind of innovation is if you try to propose something what the market is not asking for. Nobody was asking that. And now you propose it. You will have everyone against you. That again is exactly the same. You go by inspiration, you try, you make error, you change, you adapt, and you come to the market. In that case, you have a higher probability of making a difference. Because normally, the market is terrible. He asks for more, but it's not ready to pay more. So your margin has tendency to go to zero. Basically, the innovation is jumping in the unknown. It's trying to jump to help, to hope, that your wings are growing during your fall back and down. You must find a solution. It's dangerous. It's difficult. It don't seem a good idea to jump to the unknown. But it's always like that. And renovation is going step by step by step. You know exactly where you are going. You control what you are doing. But it's very difficult because the competition is terrible. The probability that somebody proposes the same is very high. And it's difficult to make a differentiation. It's difficult to make a margin if you make the same or the other one. So you have always the contradiction to follow a control way or to jump and not. Why it's so important? Because in our world, this, I would say, systematic analysis, we are becoming world champion. We have market controlling, we have project leading, we have process. We know exactly how to control the system. We go step by step, we have toll gate, we have controlling, we know how to go. But this, it's fundamental to have immediate success. But with this, normally the margin reduces. So how to manage the other one, and what is the difference? All the people taking decisions can't vote the gray world, not gray negative sense, in the majority of our activity. And this activity assures that we survive. The other one, what make the difference? The other one, they are more in exploring. And the great one is more in exploiting. Exploiting the know-how, exploiting the market, finding the best way to produce money. It's extremely important. We can say that if it's a tea, the people in the exploration, they are touching a lot of things. They try a lot of things, but they are not so deep in understanding. They are not the best specialists. And the people having success, they are normally very focused and in a very specialized way. They are different kinds of speciality. And the good way of life is to mix both. But how to mix these two colors was so difficult. Why it's so difficult to go? My experience, so I quit Swatch by two mistakes. The first mistake was, I was thinking that the sum of the management was not excellent people. They are not good, these people. They are too organized, they are too strict. And the second mistake I did was to think that the world is waiting on me. Nobody was waiting. So I had to find a way. I was like the guy in the highway hearing in the radio, somebody come in the reverse direction and say, what, thousand. So maybe you have asked you if you are not in the wrong direction. So these questions are sometimes difficult to solve. Them. What I saw is, I have a problem with this, so why it's so difficult? I make for me an image. 
because it was not going like I was thinking it will go. I make a metaphor, and the metaphor is the molecular metaphor, saying that we human beings, we are very creative. So creativity is not something unique. It's really shared by all the humanity. Our humanity is so interesting because we are so creative. The population, all the humanity, share this genetic of creativity. Why only three per million conserve that? I saw that in all organizations, in all culture. You can go in military organizations, you find creative ones. You go in by police, you find creative ones. You go everywhere, you find creative ones. But only three per million. At the origin, it was 30% or 40% of the kids are creative. Why we lose that? So I say, OK, we humans are creative. We are like water. Water exists in different form. In gas, in liquid, in crystal form. The gas represents the creativity. The gas, you can keep wording by gas, like freedom, movement, inspiration, but also with illusion, also with utopia, also with explosion, also with chaos. It's an unstable situation, but a very active, a very reactive situation. This, this mental stage helps you dream. And we all, we know that in our relation, maybe during our sleep, maybe as we was young, but we all have moments of gas. There are the people, they are in the liquid stage in the school. We have to sit down, we have to learn, we have to write down. It was complex. We have to focus. And the key words of the liquid is condensation for gas to liquid, more density. It's fusion, an old idea you meant to make a new out of it. It's the beauty, aesthetic, is in the liquid. But it's more dense, it's still the movement, we have set a limit. And you have tears, you have blood, and you have, you have uh, perspiration. It's hard, it's a hard time. That was cool, when the time was learning. That is research and development. And the last element, the crystal one. The crystal one is a fantastic wording. You have logic, systematic, is on 9,000, efficient, structure, reality, money, power. That is our world. I know. We trust in God, but don't we really trust? Or do we want we see a part of the paradise today? We are afraid that we could die, and we we have the we need the feeling that tomorrow exists. So we want to have project. We organize planning, budget, structure. We imagine how we be the world in ten years, in twenty years. We have no idea, but we, we need it. And we have a fantastic instrument, is, is an agenda. We have such a lot of appointments, the, the next three months, we cannot die. We have the feeling of eternity, and we need this feeling. And every day, systems disappear. Every day, company disappear. Every day, crystal dissolve. We have to recreate new one. And the big problem is the opposition between these two mental elements. The same human, they could share the same culture, the same languages, they are so different. Because once speak about freedom, imagination, illusion, fantasy, explosion, chaos, and the other speak about logic, systematics, non like thousand benefit, reality. How can they work together? The gas, if you look at the crystal, you say, this man is dangerous. He has he has no only dollar in the eyes. He don't see that the world is changing. He imagines that he will continue like that. It cannot. We have to change. And the crystal one, if you look to the guys, you say, oh my god, this guy is a county guy. He's not able to be structured. He don't produce money. He always asks for money. He has no success. How is it possible to trust this man? I lose my time. I want to kill him. <laughs> it's like girls and men. We have baby together. But if we don't have baby, maybe the girls have killed the man for a long time ago. Or the man has killed the girl for a long time ago. I don't know. But we have the fantastic chance we make baby. And the target of these two guys is to make babies, to make new product, 
new system, new proposal, something different for tomorrow. This is the key of the success. How we can mix these two, because reality is always crystal. Success is always crystal. You have to move for gas to crystal. But the gas people hate the crystal, and the crystal hate the gas. We have to find a solution. Why is this so difficult? Because we don't speak similarly. For example, the left-hand groups is focused by renovation, and they pretend it's innovation. And the right one speak about innovation and don't understand that the other one speak about innovation if you change the color of the cap or the size of the item. Or it is simply an evolution. So they don't understand each other. And this one speak about exploration, the others speak about exploitation. This don't mean that they are right or unright. They have to find this balance. Basically, what I saw in the nature, what I saw everywhere, is the surviving instinct to drive our society. We have to survive. And we know that an animal who is not hunting, who is not agile, cannot survive. He has to eat every night, every day. He has to be protected. He has to fight. He has to be the best, the strongest. But at the same time, if he only hunts, he will disappear after a certain time. So he has a second surviving instinct. He's having a family, having kids, having product. Having something with tomorrow is not a copy from today. And each company, they all have the possibility to choose between a metamorphosis, a changement. You know all the company Dupont de Nemo producing polymer, produce life science product. For 150 years, they was producing black powder for gun. That was the business model for Dupont de Nemo. You have DSM in Holland. DSM was the group of all the, the coal producer in, in Holland. Today they produce life science. So you change, you have a meta metamorphosis of your society, and you go slowly for fish to bird. This is very important to have the focus that my future is maybe not connected to my past. But in the short world, our future is always the short future. Tomorrow morning is always connected to what I do this afternoon. So it's a misunderstanding. Because you have to survive, you have to change. The other way is to have a new birth, birth born. The newborn is having a startup, having a new product, having a new, a new proposal, having a new brand, making something different. And the worst thing that could happen if the daughter is exactly like the mother. I know some other hope that the daughter is similar, but luckily they are always different. And the richness of the humanity is that our kids are not our copy. They will bring the world one step further. Well, we are always feeling we want to kill them if they are 15, that's natural. But it's so important that the kids are different. It's so important that the product we develop for tomorrow are maybe in the family related in these metamorphosis to the previous world. But they must be new, they must be different. Another example for the nature is we human. We think that power, strongness is important. The beautiful elephant is a male elephant, a strong one, a beautiful one. An elephant, the central life of the elephant family, is the family. The family is so important. The female elephant is so important because she lives life and she protects it. She has a matriarchal structure because it's the best way to assure the future of the society. And why it's so important? Because the kids, they will be good if they are not all similar. They must be different. And what is so important in this relationship is to understand that the most, if you have a, a society, if you have a community, if you have an industry, you have to produce new baby. But the central element of producing a new baby is not the organ producing baby is the brain. Because this mother, she can 
a doctor, she can buy a starter, she can buy a company, she can buy a brand. She can also develop one, she has the choice. And a mother who don't want a baby, she will not have a baby. Like if an industry, the brain of the industry, if the brain of the society don't want a changement, only speak about but don't want, they will kill the changement. They will kill the new the new board, saying, look, not enough turnover, not enough growth, not in the right in the right philosophy, not in, in the right way to go. So first the brain has to have the wish I want. If I don't have had Mr. M Stonke having the wish and the will to go to the end, he will have killed the project before, much before. So the will of the brain is the first and fundamental organ to produce next generation. Of course you need a development. Of course you need an internal capability to develop. But they like to reproduce themselves. They make clam. They reproduce the same picture. They show to the mother, mother, here you are, young. It's exactly you. We have the same model. Oh, mother, I make a copy for you, young. It cannot be the right way. We have to receive external inspiration. This external inspiration can be uh, a cubic, can be a creolic, can be a university, can be an inventor, can be a foreigner, can be somebody internally. It's not important. Somebody else must bring, it's not the development himself to find the best solution, it's the extant mixture of the natural DNA of the company and an external DNA which is different for the mother. But the middle management is one of the biggest dangers. Like in the nature, a mother has to protect the baby because she has not the same DNA. And all the organs try to kill the baby. The organ produce uh, all the antibody elements, try to eliminate foreign system. In all society, in all system, in all culture, we try to avoid what is foreign, what is not us. And this reaction is very dangerous because we kill everything that could be different, and we have to protect that in the nature. The mother protects the baby if it's a mammal in the skin. But the bird, they produce an egg, and the neck is protected through the, the antibody for the mother can kill the, the, the eggs. Cubic is like, like a net where the, the egg can be placed and grow up. Starter are in ready in vitro baby. They are no mother. And every night they cry, oh please, please, mother, I don't speak. I, don't, I need an exit. I need to go out. I am looking for a mother. They have a higher chance to exist because there are no middle management killing them. There are no system in the structure. They have said freedom. They grow up in the class. In the US, they have this adoption mentality. They are ready to adopt foreign babies. I don't know the mentality of Qatar and not from here, and I was not working a lot with your, your, your country, but in Europe, they don't have the mentality to adopt. We don't make young people rich. We are ready to pay a little bit more than it was costing, but not more. Why to pay such, such sum if you hear what, what was happened?